ओम भूर भूव स्वह तवितुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो दीवशी धियो यो नचोदया शांति 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 नमस्कार मई डियर फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार दिस इज वीडियो नंबर ट्वेंटी टू ऑन टॉक्स विद श्री रामना महर्षि दिस वीडियो ऑनवर्ड आई विल मेक वीडियोज शॉर्ट बिकॉज दैट इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर ऑल माई डियर फ्रेंड्स सो आई स्टार्ट वीडियो नंबर ट्वेंटी टू मार्च नाइनटीन टॉक नंबर थ्री Five. A middle-aged Kenyan visitor asked about a karma, actionless act. Mercy replies, "Whatever one does after the ego has vanished is a karma. That means effect of karma on a sadhaka is." effectless after his ego is destroyed because we undergo various rewards or punishment due to our good or bad karma under ego after this ego is destroyed effect of these karmas is not imposed on the sadhaka this is a very very important point talk number 376 a learned telugu visitor who had composed a song in praise of shri bhagwan read it out placed it at his feet and saluted after a time he asked for upadesha maharshi replies the upadesha is contained in upadesha saram devotee but oral and personal instruction is valuable maharshi if there be anything new and hither to unknown upadesha will be appropriate here it happens to be stilling the mind and remaining free from thoughts devotee it looks impossible maharshi but it is precisely the pristine and eternal state of all devotee it is not perceived in our everyday active life maharishi everyday life is not diverged from the eternal state so long as the daily life is imagined to be different from the spiritual life these difficulties arise if the spiritual life is rightly understood the active life will be found to be not different from it can the mind be got at by the mind on looking for it as an object the source of the mental functions must be sought and gained that's the reality one does not know the self owing to the interference of thoughts the self is realized when thoughts subside devotee only one in a million pursues sadhanas to completion bhagavad gita chapter 7 stanza 3 mercy whenever whenever turbulent mind rivers 
then and there pull it and bring it under the control bhagavad gita chapter 6 Stanza 26. Seeing the mind with the mind, manasa mana alokaya, so proclaim the Upanishads. Devotee, is the mind an upadhi, limiting adjunct maharishi? Yes. 22 March 1937. Talk number 2. 377 a middle aged andhra visitor a man is said to be divine why then does he have regrets maharishi divinity refers to the essential nature the regrets are of prakriti devotee how is one to overcome regrets mercy by realizing the divinity in him devotee how mercy by a practice devotee what kind of practice mercy meditation mind is not steady with meditation it will be all right by practice devotee how is the mind to be steadied mercy by strengthening it devotee how it strengthen it how to strengthen it mercy it grows strong by satsanga the company of the wise devotee shall we add prayers etc mercy yes devotee what of the one who has no regrets mercy he is an accomplished yogi there is no question about him devotee people cite disasters for example earthquakes famines etc to disapprove god how shall we meet their contention mercy where from have they come those who are go devotee they say nature mercy some call it nature others god devotee are we to keep anything against a rainy day or to live a precarious life for spiritual attainments mercy god looks after everything 27th march 1937 talk number 378 in a conversation with an andhra visitor sri bhagwan quoted asa asma sme mahabaho mano durnigham chalam abhyasena tu kanti kanteya विदाउट डाउट ओ माइटी आर्मड हीरो द माइंड इज रेस्टलेस हार्ड टू कर्ब यट बाय कॉन्स्टेंट एफर्ट पार था मैचड विद डिटैचमेंट कर्ब्ड इट इज टू एक्सप्लेन वैरागे श्री भगवान अगेन quoted sankalpa prabhavan kamam tyaktava sarvan ase satah man savendriya grahmam vinimaya samantah having cast our having cast out without remains all longing born of thought for self having drawn in 
by mind along his team of senses from all sides as for practice abhyasa sanaya sanir purnmel buddhaya dhriti grihitya atma samastham manah kartavana kinchidapi chintayate by slow approaches let him come to rest with patient rock poised will his mind at home in self would pure let him create no thought at all again for gyana yato yato nischarati manas chanchalam asiram tatsato nityam tad atam neyeva vasam ne do over and over the fickle mind all restlessness is wandering goes still over and over let his regain control and poise it back in self second april 1937 talk 379 one tirumalpad of nilambar a malayali gentleman asked the sri bhagwan for an explanation of atam vidya knowledge of the self maharishi replied sri bhagwan explained this short piece of five stanzas as follows Chedamram is the famous place of pilgrimage associated with Nandanar who sang the Atam Vidya is most difficult of attainment Murugnar a long standing devotee of Sri Bhagwan began however that Atam Vidya is the easiest of attainments aye ati sul sulbham is the burden of the song ati sulbham is the burden of the song in explanation of this extra ordinary statement he argued that atma being the self is externally obvious even to the least of man the original statement and the subsequent reasoning are incompatible because there need be no attainment if the self is the substratum of all selves and so obvious to naturally he could not pursue the him further and laid the first four lines composed by him before sri bhagwan for completion sri bhagwan admitted the truth of the disciples statement and pointed out why the self though obvious is yet hidden it is the wrong identity of the self with the body etc devotee how did the wrong identity arise mercy due to thoughts if these thoughts are put an end to the real self should shine forth of itself devoti how are these thoughts to be ended mercy find out their basis all of them are strung on the single i thought quell it all others are quest moreover there is no use knowing all except the self if the self is known all others become known hence is self realization the primary and sole duty of man devotee how to quell the i thought mercy if its source is thought it does not arise and thus it is quelled devotee where and how to find it mercy 
it is in fact the consciousness which enables the individuals to function in different ways pure consciousness is the self all that is required to realize the self is to be be still devotee what can be easier than that maharshi so atma vidya is the easiest of attainment talk 380 a european gentleman asked how do you answer the questions who are you mercy ask yourself the question who am i devotee please tell me how you have found it i shall not be able to find it myself the i is the result of biological forces it results in silence i want to know how the master finds it maharshi is it found only by logic the scientific analysis is due to intellect and devotee according to jc bose nature does not make any difference between a worm and a man maharshi what is nature devotee it is that which exist maharshi how do you know the existence devotee by my senses maharshi my implies your existence but you are speaking of another's existence you must exist to speak of my senses there cannot be my without i devotee i am a poor creature i am a poor creature i come to ask you great master that you are what this existence is there is no special <laughs> significance in the word existence he exist i exist and others exist what of that maharshi the existence of any one posited shows your own existence existence is your nature devotee there is nothing strange in anything existing bhagwan maharshi how do you know its existence rather than your own existence devotee what is new in the existence of anything i take up your book and read there that the one question one should ask oneself is who am i i want to know who are you i have my own answer if another says the same and so to millions of others there is the probability of the self i want a positive answer for the question and no playing with words mercy in this way you are in the region of probabilities at the best devotee the yes there are no certainties even god cannot be proved to be absolute certainty mercy leave god alone for the time being what of yourself devotee i want confirmation of the self mercy you seek the confirmation from others each one though addressed as you styles himself i the confirmation is only from i there is no you at all all are comprised in i the other can be known only when the self is posited the others do not exist without the subject devotee again this is nothing new when i was with sir c v raman he told me the theory of smell could be explained from his theory of light smell need no longer be explained in terms of chemistry now there is something new it is progress that's what i mean when i say that there is nothing new in all statements i hear now maharshi i is never new it is eternally the same devotee do you mean to say that there is no progress maharshi progress is perceived by the outgoing mind 
everything is still when the mind is introverted and self is sought devotee the science is what becomes of them mercy they all end in the self the self is their finality it was 5 pm sri bhagwan left the hall and gentleman left for the station so i end this video here next video will start with talk number 381 page 371 thank you a lot for watching this video please like comment and share the video namaskar <laughs> <clears> Hmm. <throat>